Girls Toasted Blonde, welcome to my channel. Okay, today we're going to exfoliate. I'm 45 years old, I have rosacea, sensitive skin, everything stings, itches, burns, and I've been scared to exfoliate my entire life. I mean, of course I exfoliate with like coconut oil and sugar and, you know, rubbing it in, uh, physical exfoliating exfoliating, but I've never chemically exfoliated. But lately I've been looking outside at my videos and my skin is so textured and terrible that it's time to try something new. So stay tuned, we're going to shave and exfoliate and hopefully make a difference. This is right. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go outside and show you some footage of my before face of all this texture. I mean, obviously you can see it here. Oh, no makeup, clean face. Um, and then we're gonna shave and exfoliate and see what happens. I am scared to death of chemical exfoliating. Um, but I have to try something. I've looked at the reviews. I got this sample. I just found this sample in the bottom of my Sephora bag and I was like, should I do it? Basia uh, exfoliating pe peel gel. Basia? Basia. Bosia. Basia. One of those is going to work, and we're going to try it out because um, something has to be done. If you've seen my videos, I'm just, it's a wreck of textured skin. All right, hey, so. <laughs> there's the Cora. All right, so hey, I'm outside, and this is my skin. You can see it is highly textured and needs some help. There's Cora. All right, so we're gonna go shave and exfoliate and be right back. Okay, first step will be shaving. All right, so this is the deal. I've shaved before, but it freaks me out every time. Okay, it's been about an hour and like three cups of coffee and um, Okay, I'm ready to do this. I have a clean, dry face, and I'm going to open these up. I've got two of them, and massage them in my face. Hold it up. It doesn't itch, sting, or burn. It's feeling a little tingly. I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Oh, there's my face. There it is. All right, now, I feel like that's gonna be enough for that one packet. It's actually feeling like quite enough. Okay, so I did it. Um, I shaved and I chemically exfoliated. Let's see, um, I noticed some residual redness here that I don't think I started out this morning with. Um, but that's it. Um, I'm gonna go back outside and we're gonna look and see how it looks outside in that. There's this side. On this side and you know what I really can't until I see this footage I don't actually know what it looks like um, my one of the graces I guess of aging is that your eyesight goes so that you don't realize how horrible you look half the time it got to take the good with the bad so this is me with makeup this is a botanical foundation with a blender, beauty blender, and my freshly exfoliated face. All right, I'm back with the final update. It's the next morning. I did not get red last night. I did not have any problems. I have some, well, I have some residual redness and some itching right here. I don't know if it was the, the peel gel or if it was the uh, cream I used, uh, moisturizer, but I mean that will go away um, soon. And the did not get red. I'm so pleased. So I successfully exfoliated with the Basia uh, peel gel. Was it exfoliating peel gel? Took a little sample from um, 
Sephora, and I'd say for me, it works with rosacea. So I may even have to spring for it again. I will try it again, out again in about two weeks. Cause you know, I'm not used to exfoliating. But okay, so my rosacea did not get worse. My skin feels amazing soft. It actually looks pretty awful. I mean, it, it didn't take away the fact that my skin looks textured and awful. But it feels smooth, so I know it actually is smooth. And then also, uh, the last thing would be, um, oh, makeup went on great. So that's great. Great job. Uh, thanks for watching Melanie Mills Toasted Blonde.